this is the fourth video on moment of inertia the topics covered are mi of angle section and t section the first question is angle an angle section has size 100 mm by 80 mm by 10 mm calculate mi about centroidal axis for it let us draw the figure for the angle section now this is one rectangle which is horizontal and this is another which is vertical let us show the dimensions now this is 80 mm i have taken here and this is 10 mm thickness of the flange and this is 90 so the total is here 100 the height total is 100 and this is 80 and the thickness is 10 now that this horizontal rectangle here I will be calling it area a1 and here this vertical rectangle which is 90 by 10 we will be calling it area a2 this is 10 mm here so this area A2 is 10 by 90 and area A1 is 80 by 10 and this total is here from this point to this point is 100 from here to here this is 80 so this is 100 by 80 by 10 mm this is the angle section for this angle section we want to find out the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis first we will have to find where is the centroid of this angle section for that what we do is now suppose this horizontal line at the top which I am calling as OT this is the reference line we are taking to calculate the Y bar now for this rectangle 80 by 10 mm its horizontal centroidal axis if this is the center of this rectangle then this horizontal centroidal axis is x1 and its distance from this reference line OT is called y1 and it will be half of 10 so y1 is equal to 5 now for the second area its center is somewhere here suppose then this is the horizontal centroidal axis for area A2 and that is this centroidal axis we call it X2 now its distance we want to find out from this reference line now how much it will be it will be I am showing it here this black line now now this this is 90 so at half of it will be X2 so from this point to this is 45 but we want this distance from our reference line so we, I have to add another 10 here so this y2 will be 10 plus 90 by 2 from here to here this is 10 and from here to here this will be 90 by 2 so 90 by 2 is 45 plus 10 that is 55 so y2 is 55 and y1 is 5 mm to calculate the centroid we have to first decide the reference line so this is the reference lines which I have decided OT and from that reference line we find out the distance Y1 and Y2 now what is the formula for Y bar formula for Y bar is bracket open A1 Y1 plus A2 Y2 bracket close divided by bracket open A1 plus A2 bracket close now let us substitute the value here bracket open A1 it will be this area this top horizontal rectangle I am calling it the area A1 so it will be 80 into 10 that is what I have taken here 80 into 10 area Y1 we have calculated here that is 5 A2 is this rectangle here which I have shown this vertical rectangle is area A2 it will be 10 this horizontal dimension is 10 and vertical is 90 so 10 into 90 is area A2 y2 from here this is 55 bracket close divided by bracket open again area a1 is 18 to 10 plus a2 is 10 into 90 bracket close this is how we substitute the values 
to calculate the y bar now take the calculators in your hand and start doing the calculation start from here bracket open 8 0 into 1 0 into 5 plus 1 0 into 9 0 into 5 5 bracket close divided by bracket open 8 0 into 1 0 plus 1 0 into 9 0 bracket close is equal to so when you press is equal to you will get this answer 31.47 and the unit is mn because all the dimensions are in mn this is our y bar now we have to show this y bar here in this figure so now suppose this is my centroid and i am showing the this is the axis xx for the l section so this is the axis xx of the l section and now i get the y bar from this reference line up to this axis is my y bar which i am showing here this is the axis xx which we got the centroidal axis of the l section and this is the y bar from this reference line y bar 31.47 this is the y bar i am showing here now how we calculate the moment of inertia about this centroidal axis what we do is we first calculate we know the moment of inertia of this top rectangle about its centroidal axis x1 x1 from this axis x1 x1 using parallel axis theorem i will transfer the moment of inertia from the axis x1 to the axis xx for this top rectangle of 80 by 10 similarly after that i will transfer i know we know the moment of inertia about this axis x2 for this rectangle 10 by 90 about its own centroidal axis using parallel axis theorem we will transfer the moment of inertia of this vertical rectangle from the axis x2 to the axis xx and we will add these two moment of inertia together that will give us the moment of inertia of the angle section about its own centroidal axis xx let us see how we do it so ixx will be now this top rectangle area a1 so this horizontal direct dimension we will call it b1 and this vertical we will call it d1 so b1 d1 cube by 12 plus a1 h1 square so i am transferring the moment of inertia from the axis x1 to xx so ixx plus ah square similarly for the second rectangle it will be b2 d2 cube by 12 plus a2 h2 square where b2 is this horizontal dimension and this 90 vertical dimension that we call it d2 and it what is h1 and h2 h1 is the distance between the axis x1 and the axis xx this is h1 h2 is the distance between the axis xx and axis x2 so how we now i am showing h1 so h1 is distance between the axis x1 and xx here i am showing h2 h2 is the distance between the axis xx and this axis x2 this is axis xx and this is axis x2 now how we calculate h1 and h2 h1 will be so now this is the distance i want h1 I know this distance y bar from this reference line from this reference line up to xx is y bar 31.47 and from this reference line up to the axis x1 this distance is y1 and now I want distance from here to here so what I have to do y bar minus y1 this from here to here is y bar 
31.47 and this small distance 5 is y1 so if I do y bar minus this y1 I get this distance h1 from here to here which I have shown so h1 is y bar minus y1 and how much is h2 now from this reference line up to here is y bar and from this x2 to reference line is y2 so I want this distance h2 so from y2 if I subtract y bar I get this distance h2 so h2 is y bar minus y2 now we will substitute the value in this equation i x x how let us see what is b1 b1 is this horizontal distance 80 what is d1 d1 is this vertical distance 10 so 80 into 10 cube divided by 12 that is b1 d1 cube by 12 what is area a1 area a1 is this rectangle 80 into 10 so area a1 is 80 into 10 what is h1 y bar minus y1 so this h1 we substitute it as y bar is 31.47 and what is our y1 y1 is 5 and keep it in bracket and bracket square this is h1 square here plus now b2 d2 b2 is this horizontal dimension 10 so that is 10 this vertical dimension for this second rectangle is d2 that is 90 so 10 into 90 cube by 12 plus area a2 is 9, 10 into 90 b into d into bracket h2 now what is our h2 from here h2 is y bar minus y2 substitute here y bar is 55 and minus sorry um, it, y2 is 55 and y bar is 31.47 here we can do y bar minus y2 or y2 minus y bar anything because when we square it it becomes plus but it is better that the bigger figure we take first so this is y2 minus y bar so that gives us h2 so h2 square now take the calculators in your hand you have the scientific calculators do the calculations very slowly and correctly start from here 80 into 10 now press the x, x cube button in your calculator x cube divided by 1 2 that is 12 plus 80 into 10 into bracket open 31.47 minus 5 bracket close then press x square button on your calculator plus 10 into 90 then press the x cube button on your calculator divided by 12 plus 10 into 90 into bracket open 55 minus 31.47 bracket close then press x square button and then press is equal to see what answer you are getting are you getting this answer that is x is equal to i x x is equal to 1.673 into 10 raised to 6 if you have not got this answer press the engineering button on your calculator and see do you get it as 1.673 into 10 raised to 6 press the eng button after you press equal to so that you get the 
answer and the answer is here 1.673 into 10 raised to 6 unit is mm raised to 4 this is how you calculate the moment of inertia about the horizontal centroidal axis i x x Now we have seen the moment of inertia about the x-axis. Here now we will see the moment of inertia, how we take about the axis y, y. Now for the top horizontal rectangle, it is 80 mm, this dimension 10 mm, 90 mm. Now we will consider this vertical line as a reference line. So, I am giving all the dimensions here. This OL, which is I have taken on the left side. So, this line is the reference line. And now I have shown all the dimensions. This is 80 by 10. This is the horizontal rectangle. This vertical rectangle is 90 by 10. So this 90 plus 10, this total dimension from here to here is 100, which is given here 100. This is 80 and thickness, the, uh, this thickness is 10 and this thickness is 10. This top rectangle horizontal, we will call it A1 area and this vertical rectangle, which is 10 by 90, that area we are going to call it A2. And our reference line here is this vertical line OL. Now this is the center of the area A1 and this is the center of the area A2. Now from reference line it is at what distance? Now this vertical line is the axis Y1 for this rectangle and from this reference line up to here this is half of 80 that is 40 mm and that we call it X1. This horizontal dimension from this reference line will be called as x1 and that is 40 mm half of 80. Now from this center line up to this reference line that distance we call it y2. Now this is our reference line y2 and this small dimension from this red reference line up to this x is y2 this distance is half of 10 that is x2 is equal to 5 mm this horizontal dimension is called x2 and that is 5 mm half of this 10 because the horizontal dimension of this area a2 is 10 so my x1 is 40 and x2 is 5 mm now we will calculate the x bar the formula which we use to calculate the x bar is bracket open a1 x1 plus a2 x2 bracket close divided by a1 plus a2. Now let us substitute the value here. x bar is equal to now a1 this is the area a1 80 into 10 so 80 into 10 into x1 is 40 this is 40 I am substituting here plus this dimension is 10 this is 90 that is a2 10 into 90 this a2 I am substituting here x2 is this dimension 5 mm so that is here i am substituting 5 mm bracket close divided by a1 is bracket open 80 into 10 plus a2 is 10 into 90 bracket close now take the calculators in your hand and start doing the calculations from here bracket open 8 0 into 1 0 into 4 0 plus 1 0 into 9 0 into 5 bracket close divided by bracket open 8 0 into 1 0 plus 1 0 into 9 0 bracket close is equal to See, you will get this answer 21.47 and the unit is mm. If you have not got the answer, you can try the calculations once more. Start from here. 
to keep the brackets properly for the numerator and the denominator and press the buttons very slowly and correctly so that you get the correct answer so this is x bar now i want to show the vertical axis y y this is and the distance x bar in this figure we how we show it now this is say the axis xx for the angle section and its distance from the reference line from this reference line up to this axis this is x bar and here i am showing the x bar this is the x bar and that is 21.47 which we got here now from this axis y1 up to this axis yy this is the axis yy the centroidal axis for the l section so what we do now we know the moment of inertia about this axis y1 for the top rectangle about its own centroidal axis using parallel axis theorem we will transfer the moment of inertia from the axis y1 to the axis yy of the angle section axis yy is the centroidal axis this is the centroidal axis of the angle section similarly we know the moment of inertia about this y2 axis which is the axis yy of this vertical rectangle from this axis we will transfer the moment of inertia to the axis yy how we do it let us see for that what we need is what is the distance between this axis yy and axis y1 that we call it h1 and this axis y2 this is the axis y2 and from this axis up to this axis yy this distance we will call it h2 how we get it now the formula will be i by y is equal to d1 b1 cube by 12 plus a1 h1 square plus d2 b3 cube by 12 plus a2 h2 square this is how using parallel axis will transfer d1 b1 cube by 12 this will give me the moment of inertia about its own axis y1 here when i add the term a1 h1 square i transfer the moment of inertia from the axis y1 to yy similarly d2 b2 cube by 12 will give us the moment of inertia about this axis which is y2 from here when we add this term a2 h2 square we transfer it from this axis to the axis yy of the angle section so what is h1 h1 is the distance between this axis yy and y1 this is distance which i have shown in green that is our h1 how we get h1 now from reference line up to here is x bar from this reference line up to y1 is 40 that is x1 so h1 will be x1 minus x bar so if i do 40 minus 21.47 then i get this distance h1 so h1 is x1 minus x bar similarly this x2 h2 what is this h2 this is the distance here which i am showing in green is h2 how much it will be from this reference line up to here is x bar and from this reference line up to here this small distance is x2 so this h2 will be x bar minus x2 if i do from the x bar if i subtract this x2 i get this distance h2 so h1 is x1 minus x bar we get this distance x1 minus x bar and h2 is x bar from x bar if i minus x2 do it then i get this distance h2 so h2 is x bar minus x2 now we substitute the values in the equation of this i y y what are the values we are going to substitute now d1 this vertical dimension of the area a2 this is called d1 and this is our 80 mm is b1 so now it is 10 into 80 cube divided by 12 this is d1 10 is d1 80 is b1 
so d1 b1 cube by 12 plus a1 now area a1 is 80 into 10 this is the rectangle 80 by 10 so area will be 80 into 10 into bracket open h1 is x1 minus x bar my x1 is 40 so 40 minus now x bar is 21.47 so this is 21.47 and h1 square so bracket square next is d2 b2 cube d2 is this vertical dimension is d2 that is 90 this horizontal dimension 10 is our b2 so this is b2 so d2 b2 it's a cube d2 b2 cube divided by 12 plus now area a2 is 10 into 90 this is the rectangle 10 by 90 so area a2 is this rectangle so 10 into 90 into bracket was it h2 now a1 a2 is this and now i want to substitute h2 h2 is x bar minus x2 x bar is from here 21.47 minus x2 is 5 which i have shown here x2 5 so 5 and it is h2 square so put this whole thing in bracket and it is square this is how we substitute the values in this equation to calculate i by y now take the calculators in your hand and start doing the calculations from here 1 0 into 8 0 now press the cube button for 80 cube x cube button divided by 12 plus 80 into 10 into bracket open 40 minus 21.47 bracket close then press x square button plus 90 into 10 then press x cube button divided by 12 plus 10 into 90 into bracket open 21.47 minus 5 bracket close then press x square button is equal to see what answer you get you will get the answer 952.99 into 10 raised to 3 and the unit is mm raised to 4 this is how you calculate i by y that is the moment of inertia about the axis centroidal axis y y for the l section here for l section you have to calculate first x bar and decide the position of the centroidal axis y y and then only you can calculate i y y let us now take one angle section Question number two is for T section. A T section has size 60 mm by 80 mm by 10 mm. Calculate MI about centroidal axis for it. Now this is a T section here. Now this top flange is 60 and this thickness is 10 mm and this vertical rectangle has 10 this 70 and this 10 total is 80 mm so the web this vertical rectangle is called web the top rectangle horizontal is called flange so flange we will take it 60 by 10 and the this rectangle vertical rectangle 
will be 10 by 70. Total from here to here this dimension is 10 plus 70 that is 80 mm which is given here. So this is a T section for which we are going to find out the moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. Here what we do is first we take this reference line as O T and from this reference line we will first find out the centroidal axis look at the centroidal axis of a T section how we do it now this is the horizontal axis x1 for this area a1 this horizontal rectangle top rectangle which is called flange that we will take it as area a1 and this vertical rectangle which I am showing here this we will take it as area a2 so for this area a1 this is the axis x1 centroidal axis which will be at a distance of from this reference line it will be at a distance of 5 mm half of 10 so it will be here y1 this vertical distance we call it y1 y1 is equal to 5 mm now suppose the center of this area a2 is here then its centroidal axis x2 will be this axis this is the axis x2 centroidal axis now for from this axis up to this reference line this distance will be now from here up to the bottom of the flange this will be half of 70 that is this is 35 and from this reference axis I want the distance this is I have to add this 10 the thickness 10 so here I am showing y2 this is the, in the same line so this is from here to here is 10 this is 10 from here to here this is 10 and from here to here it is half of 70 so 70 divided by 2 that is this is 70 by 2 is 35 plus 10 that is 45 so y1 is 5 y2 is 45 now how we calculate y bar we to locate the horizontal centroidal axis we must first calculate y bar from the reference line OT. So y bar the formula is y bar is equal to bracket open a1 y1 plus a2 y2 bracket close divided by bracket open a1 plus a2 bracket close. Let us substitute the value here y bar is equal to now a1 is this horizontal top flange that is 60 by 10. So 60 into 10 is area a1 into y1 y1 is 5 from here substitute 5 plus now area a2 is this vertical web is called a2 area its dimension is 10 by 70 so 10 by 70 is area a2 y2 from here we substitute it this is 45 bracket close divided by bracket open now a1 is 60 into 10 this top rectangle flange 60 into 10 again a2 is this vertical rectangle which is called web that dimension is 10 into 70 so 10 into 70 here that is a2 and bracket close now take the calculators in your hand and do the calculations from here bracket open 6 0 into 1 0 into 5 plus 1 0 into 7 0 into 4 5 bracket close divided by bracket open 6 0 into 1 0 plus 1 0 into 7 0 bracket close is equal to you will get this answer 26.54 and the unit is mm now how to show the y bar in the figure now suppose this is my centroid for the t section then i draw here the axis xx of for the now this is the axis xx for the t section this is the centroidal axis xx of the t section and distance from this reference line ot to xx is our y bar so I am showing the y bar here from this reference line 
up to xx because we our reference line is he this so y1 is also from that reference line y2 is also from the reference line and y bar also will be from the same reference line so y bar is equal to 26.54 mm so this is how we show the y bar in the figure this is the axis xx centroidal axis of the p section now we want to find out the moment of inertia of this t section about this centroidal axis what we do is we know the moment of inertia of this top flange about its own centroidal axis x1 here by using parallel axis theorem we transfer that moment of inertia from the axis x1 to xx about its own centroidal axis x1 the moment of inertia will be bd cube by 12 that is b1 d1 cube by 12 and when we add a1 h1 square term we get the moment of inertia of this rectangle about the axis xx similarly we know the moment of inertia of this vertical web about the axis x2 from that using parallel axis theorem we transfer it to this axis xx and that is how we get the total moment of inertia about the centroidal axis xx for the t section now for that what we need is when we take a h square term we need the distance between the axis x1 and x x this distance so that is called h1 now let us first write the formula i x x will be b1 d1 cube by 12 this is the moment of inertia of this horizontal flange that is this horizontal rectangle about its axis x1 b1 is this horizontal dimension 60 and this vertical dimension is 10 is d1 this 10 is d1 b1 d1 cube by 12 and when we add the term a1 h1 square we get we transfer the moment of inertia from the x1 to axis xx for this flange top rectangle plus now this vertical rectangle that is a web its moment of inertia about its axis x2 will be b2 d2 cube by 12 where b2 is this horizontal dimension 10 d2 is this vertical dimension that is 70 so b2 d2 cube by 12 and when we add the term a2 h2 square the moment of inertia from the axis x2 will get transferred to xx what is this h2 h2 is distance between the axis x2 and xx what is h1 h1 is the distance between the axis x1 and x so let us show it here the distance between x1 axis and axis xx this distance which is shown in green is h1 and the distance between the axis x2 and this axis xx which is shown here by green is h2 now how we calculate h1 and h2 h1 will be now this distance i want h1 from here to here so i know this distance this is y1 this which i have shown here from this reference line up to x1 this is y1 and from this reference line up to xx is y bar so from y bar if i subtract y1 i get h1 this distance if i subtract this 5 from this 26.54 this small 5 if i subtract i get h1 so y bar minus y1 is h1 and what is h2 now uh, this from here to here is y bar and from this x2 up to this reference line is y2 so if i do y2 minus y bar i get h2 so y2 minus y bar will give me h2 now we will substitute the values in this equation i x x how we substitute it now b1 is this horizontal dimension 60 so that is 60 d1 is this vertical dimension so d1 cube that is 10 cube divided by 12 plus area of this top flange is 60 by 10 so 60 into 10 into bracket 
h1 this h1 i am substituting a1 i have substituted here 16 to 10 h1 h1 is from here y bar minus y1 so y bar is from here 26.54 which we have calculated 26.54 minus y1 is 5 from here substitute y1 as 5 put it in bracket because it is h1 square so put the, this in bracket and square of it plus now b2 d2 cube b what is b b is this horizontal dimension b2 and d2 is 70 so 10 into 70 cube by 12 so b2 d2 cube by 12 now area a2 is again 10 into 70 second area this is the area 10 into 70 into bracket open h2 will be now y2 this is 45 so y2 minus y bar from here 26.54 26.54 put it in the bracket because it is h2 square put it in the bracket and it is square so this is how we substitute the values in this equation i x x and then now take the calculators in your hand and start doing the calculation start from here 60 into 10 then press the button x cube divided by 12 plus 60 into 10 into bracket open 26.54 minus 5 bracket close then press the button x square plus 10 into 70 then press x cube button divided by 12 plus 10 into 70 into bracket open 45 minus 26.54 bracket close then press x square button then press is equal to and see what answer you get it, the answer is 807.76 into 10 raised to 3 and unit is mm square if you have not got the answer here all the values have been substituted retry it and without any mistake slowly press all the buttons you have the scientific calculator which can do this full calculation in one stretch make it a practice to do the calculations in one stretch so that you save the time don't increase the number of steps because the more the steps the more the mistakes initially you may feel that it's very lengthy but slowly if you practice it you can do it correctly in one stretch it hardly requires one or two minutes but you increase the steps you spend more time in writing and the more steps the more the mistakes now let us see how we calculate the iyy for the same t section Now this is the rectangle here again I am showing I am giving the dimensions 60 by 10 then area A2 70 by 10 okay now this is the rectangle top flange 60 by 10 which I have shown here and this is the vertical rectangle that is the web which is 10 by 70 then this top rectangle we call it area A1 which is the horizontal rectangle and this vertical rectangle which is 10 by 70 we call it area a2 now this is my reference line o l now first i want to locate the x bar from the reference line now this is the this is the center for the top rectangle at what distance it will be from this reference line this center will be you will see here 
this is x1 and this will be half of 60 that is 30 and this this here will be the center of area a2 again this distance from here to here will be half of 60 we are not going to take half of 10 because the 10 is distance is from here to here it is not from the reference line our x1 x2 must be from the reference line this is what is important to remember so from this reference line here will somewhere will be the center and it will be again 60 divided by 2 that will be 30 x2 now if i use the formula x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 in bracket divided by bracket open a1 plus a2 bracket close and substitute the value so what are the values x bar is equal to now a1 is 60 into 10 60 into 10 x1 is 30 this distance from here to here is half of 60 that is 30 again a2 is this is 10 and 70 so 10 into 70 x2 is from here up to this reference line the here somewhere will be the center so this will be again 10 into 70 into 30 bracket close divided by area a1 is 60 into 10 plus area a2 is 10 into 70 bracket close so start doing the calculation from here bracket open 6 0 into 1 0 into 3 0 plus 1 0 into 7 0 into 3 0 bracket close divided by bracket open 6 0 into 1 0 plus 1 0 into 7 0 bracket close is equal to you will get the answer 30 mm and if x1 and x2 both are same here in which case this is 30 and this is also 30 then x bar also will be 30 if you understand this because x1 and x2 are 30 you can take out here common if you take out 30 common what remains is this 60 into 10 plus 70 into 10 and they get cancelled and you get x bar 30 so in the exam if you know that your answer is going to be 30 you are very sure x1 is equal to x2 so x bar also will be 30 you can say straight away right due to symmetry x1 is equal to x2 is equal to x bar is equal to 30 mm without doing any of these lengthy calculations now i am showing here this is if my centroid of a t section then this distance from here to here is x bar and that is also 30 so this is x bar and this is the axis y y now you will see the center for area a1 the center of area a2 and the centroid all are in one same line that is along the axis y y so y1 is also this axis y2 is also the same axis and y y of the t section is also the same axis here the formula will be i y y is equal to b1 d1 cube by 12 plus a1 h1 square plus b2 d2 cube by 12 plus a2 h2 square as we have done it before then what happens what is h1 now now h1 is always the difference between x bar and x1 if i am calculating y y then h1 is the difference between x1 and x bar now here x bar and x1 both are same 30 so h1 is 0 similarly what is h2 h2 if i am calculating i y y then h2 is always the difference between x bar and x2 now if i substitute the value of x bar and x2 both are 30 so again h2 also is 0 here so this h1 becomes 0 so a1 h1 square is 0 and a2 h2 square is also 0 so i y y will be only b1 sorry d1 b1 cube by 12 plus d2 
P2 cube by 12. And I have, because this term becomes 0, I have shown it in a different color. I have not kept it black. Now let us see how we substitute the value. So D1, D is this vertical dimension, B is this horizontal dimension. So D is 10, B is 60, so 60 cube. So D1, B1 cube will be 10 into 60 cube by 12. If I substitute a value A1 here, 60 into 10 into bracket this h1 will be x bar minus x1 so it will be 30 minus 30 bracket square plus d2 b2 cube that is 70 d will be this vertical dimension d2 and this horizontal dimension is b2 that is 10 so 70 into 10 cube by 12 that will give me d2 b2 cube by 12 here and a1 h1 square will be 70 into 30 a1 into bracket 30 minus 30. This x2 is 30 and x bar is also 30 bracket square. Okay. So this term becomes 0. Even if you substitute it and do the calculation, you will get it 0 only. Now let us do the calculation. While I, am, I have underlined this, I have just shown how you substitute it. In the exam, you may not write this also. If you write h1 is equal to 0 and h2 is equal to 0, then you just write i by y is equal to d1 b1 cube by 12 plus d2 b2 cube by 12. And while doing the calculation, we will take only these two terms. So start from here, take the calculators in your hand, start from here, 10 into 60, press x cube button divided by 12 plus now we will directly take this term 70 into 30 sorry 70 into 10 cube divided by 12 is equal to and see what answer you get you will get the answer 185.83 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 this is how you calculate i y y now here Calculate MI about the centroidal axis for it and about polar axis. Now we will calculate here amount of inertia about the polar axis also. Polar axis is the ZZ axis and using parallel axis theorem we calculate it and it is IZZ is equal to IXX plus IYY. So substitute the value of IZZ IXX I have calculated here in, on the last page that is I have taken this value from there 807.76 into 10 raised to 3 plus yy from here 187.83 into 10 raised to 3. Substitute the xx and yy value you get the izz and that is 993.59 into 10 raised to 3. If you do the addition of these two which you can do very easily you will get the answer 993.59. 5, 9 into 10 raised to 3 mm raised to 4 that is the polar axis and using perpendicular axis theorem you can calculate izz here. So this is how we calculate the moment of inertia for a L section or a T section here what is important is first you have to calculate the x bar and then on decide the axis y y and if you are calculating i y y then h1 is the difference between x bar and x1 h2 is the difference between x bar and x2 and if there is one more rectangle if it is a i section or something channel section then h3 will be difference between x bar and x3 if you are calculating i x x then h1 is difference between y bar and y1 h2 will be difference between y bar and y2 and if there is one more third rectangle then h3 will be difference between y bar and y3 likewise it is always there here i am giving one assignment question number one a rectangular lamina is 60 mm wide and 250 mm deep calculate its moment of inertia with respect to 
A horizontal and vertical centroidal axis B 60 mm side C 250 mm side horizontal axis 60 mm below bottom vertical axis 30 mm away from 250 mm side radius of gyration Kx and Ky G modulus of section Zxx and Zyy try to calculate it question number 2 find the MI about center uh, about horizontal and vertical centroidal axis for a inverted C section having flange 100 mm wide and 300 mm deep, web 120 mm by 30 mm. Inverted T section means the flange is at bottom. Ixx is 13.7 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4, Iyy 2.77 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4, and Y bar is 55.9 from bottom now the flange is at the bottom and you can take the reference line at the bottom then you will get the y bar 55.9 mm question number three an unsymmetrical i section has top flange width 200 mm flange thickness 20 mm web is 10 mm by 300 mm and the bottom flange is 300 mm by 20 mm overall depth is 340 mm find ixx and mi about the bottom most flange ixx is equal to the answer is 2.71 into 10 raise to 8 mm raise to 4 moment of inertia i bottom is 545.7 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4 y bar is 145.38 mm try it out question number 4 a channel section has flanges 50 mm wide and thickness 10 mm the thickness of web is 10 mm overall depth is 200 mm calculate mi about centroidal axis ixx is 13.89 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4 iyy is 480.4 into 10 raise to 3 mm raise to 4 x bar is 12.14 mm it is from the left next question an unsymmetrical i section has flange width 100 mm and flange thickness 15 mm web is 10 mm thick overall depth is 280 mm calculate mi about its centroidal axis Ixx is equal to 65.74 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4. Iyy is 2.52 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4. There is one more assignment, assignment number 16. Question number 1. A semicircle has a diameter of 200 mm. Calculate its moment of inertia with respect to horizontal and vertical centroidal axis Kxx and Kyy. Ixx is 11. 0 0.0 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4 iyy is 39.27 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4 kxx is 26.46 mm and kyy is 50 mm the formula for k is under root i upon a find the mi about ab for the following figure this is the figure this height is 100 this is also 100 iab is equal to the answer is 10.7877 into 10 raise to 6 here one hint is given, the formula I have given. Question number 3, for the following section of cast iron beam, calculate Ixx and Yy. This is the figure I have shown here. And for this figure, calculate the axis, moment of inertia about axis Xx and Yy. The answer is Xx is 28.84 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4. Iyy is 13.72 into 10 raise to 6 mm raise to 4. The semicircles here, these two semicircles, are cut from this full rectangle the size of the rectangle is 120 by 150 and diameter of this semicircle is 100 mm these two semicircles are cut from the rectangle and you have to calculate the amount of inertia about the centroidal axis x x and y y try it out be a master